Hey guys, today we're gonna talk about the best daily habit for real estate investors. Whether you're just starting out or you're already an experienced investor, this video will show you a daily habit that's gonna help you get an additional $5,000 a month to your passive income. If you're new to the channel, I'm Arianne and I retired with investment income at the age of 27 and I made this channel to help good people like you learn how to actually build true wealth and financial freedom. So the first thing you want to do when you're on your path to uh, creating those habits to get that extra $5,000 a month in passive income is to write down what your goal is. Is it to replace your income with passive income? Do you want to get $5,000 a month for that? Or do you want to get enough passive income to have a free family vacation each year? Do you just want $1,000 a month for that? Writing down our goals is so important. Do you guys remember the story in Alice in Wonderland where Alice comes to a fork in the road and then she meets this cat in a tree? And Alice asked the cat, hey, which road do I take? The cat responded, where do you want to go? Alice said, I don't know. Then the cat said, then it doesn't matter which road you take. See, the first step to getting to your goal is actually defining your goal. If you don't ever set a goal or a destination, you'll never get there. You'll just end up being frustrated and you'll go around and around in circles. Now, set a goal right now, whether it's $5,000 a month, $1,000 a month in passive income, whatever your real estate investing goal is, write it down. You can always change it later. You can make it bigger if you reach your goal or you can make it smaller if you feel like it's too far out of reach once you start but if you don't start with a goal and direction right now you'll be lost and frustrated so do that right now so for this video let's just say the goal is to create five thousand dollars a month in passive income number two the next thing we're going to do is define your why I would go deeper and explain why that $5,000 a month is important to you. For example, you might want a $5,000 a month so that your needs expenses are paid, right? Your housing, your food, everything you need to live are paid, plus some extra fun things so that you can spend more time with your family. Maybe you really want to be there for your kids' milestones, or you want to have more time with your spouse, or maybe you want to travel more. All of those are perfectly fine whys. For me, my initial goal was $10,000 a month so that I didn't have to work anymore and so I could always go and visit my family overseas whenever they needed me or whenever I wanted to. You can watch this video on my journey from being a broke immigrant to a multi-millionaire real estate investor over here and in the description below. Um, but after you set your goal and define your why, you'll want to set your investment time block. And this is what I meant when I meant that habit that's going to really move the needle for you. It's this. It's this investment time block. What you'll want to do is start a habit where you set aside a regular time to work towards your investment goal. If you think back to every goal you set and you did achieve, it followed this same pattern. You set a goal, you decided it was important to you, which is your why, and then you set a regular time to practice and improve and get to the goal. That's what we're doing right now as you're setting your investment time block. So think about this, if you ever ran a 5K or played a sport or played a musical instrument, right? What did you do? You had a routine and you had a habit of practicing either alone with a coach or with a team regularly. And that's how you accomplished the goal you said you had before. And that's how you're going to accomplish this investment goal of $5,000 a month in passive income, right? You're going to do the same thing. You're going to set your investment time block. And that is the very sacred time block you have so that you can get to that 5k a month. And so you can do all the things you want to do that's important to you and why you set that goal in the beginning, right? So right now, if you have to pause this video, put a recurring calendar event in your calendar for at least 30 minutes every day. It has to be the same time, right? So it's a habit and commit to yourself that no matter what, you're going to use that 30 minutes every day to push your investment goal forward. All right. Are you going to promise me that and promise your future self that? 
All right, awesome. I believe in you, right? So you can always increase this time if you start with 30 minutes right now in your calendar. If you, in the future, you're like, you know, I can, I can put in more time. I am extending my time, then make it 60 minutes. You can always reduce it too if you're too busy, right? But as long as you do it consistently, right? Set a consistent time, do it every day, that will get you to your goal. And if you're liking this video so far, please click that like like button and the subscription button and the notification bell. It helps me out a lot for the YouTube algorithm. Okay, so now that you have your regular investment time block, you're actually gonna do something in that time. The next thing you're gonna do is to use that time each day to get yourself closer and closer to the goal. So I'll actually share my time block with you, minus five o'clock every day. So from five to 5.30 at least, I have a minimum of 30 minutes. What I do to get myself closer to my investment goals is I look at new deals every day and I add them to my list of deals to review, right? So in right now, we own over 2,000 multifamily rentals. So most of the properties I end up looking at are 100 plus unit properties. So my regular time block I usually can't analyze the deals in just 30 minutes, but I have time to review all of the new ones. There might be 10 new ones or 20 new ones per day that I see. I'll do a kind of quick analysis through that. I'll write down the ones I want to do a deeper analysis in, and then the next day, I'll actually spend an hour to two hours analyzing the ones that I think are worthwhile. Now, sometimes there aren't any worthwhile for the day, then I don't write any of them down. But I always keep that 30 minute time block. So no matter how busy the day is, I'm always looking at new deals. Because that's how you eventually get to owning 2000 units like me, you analyze a lot of deals. For you, if you're looking at smaller deals, you might actually have time to sit down and do your full analysis. When you're good at doing a full analysis, it usually takes you 15 to 30 minutes. Um, to do like kind of the first pass of full analysis. And if you don't know how to do an analysis, check out this rental property video up here and I'll put it in the description below. It's our rental property calculator. It's our analyzer. You pretty much can get a copy of the same analyzer I use for my single family deals and you can use it for your own. So definitely check that video out and also get a copy of that free rental calculator. It's my gift to you. Now, um, in this time block, what you're going to do will change, right? So in the beginning, right, right now, if you're like super new and you're like, I don't even know how to analyze deals, that is okay. That time block, then you're going to spend learning how to analyze deals or at the very, the very least creating a plan on how you're going to get to your goal. And the very first step in having a plan to get to your goal is choosing your investment strategy. There's a lot of ways to invest in real estate. And first, you got to decide on that strategy you're going after before you start looking at deals, because you're not going to do well looking at the 10,000 different types of deals when you're not going to be able to buy anything because you're just too scattered, right? So first, you're going to pick an investment strategy then you'll actually spend the time doing the strategy. Now, people usually fall into one of two categories in general as far as picking their strategy. You either have more money than you have time or you have more time than you have money. Now, if you have more time than money, I recommend going the completely passive investor route. And the way you do this is by investing in syndications and funds. All this means is someone else is doing all the work of finding the deals, analyzing the deals, managing the properties, managing the renovations, and you just partner with them, right? They do all the work. You actually just send your money in they do all the work and you just collect your returns. Now there's more that goes into it than that. So watch through this other video I made on syndications. I actually have a whole playlist about syndications and funds. So check that out in the description below. Now, if you're going to invest in syndications and funds, then your investment time block is going to be reviewing the new deals that those syndication partners are sending you. And then you're going to choose the one you want to invest in that aligns with your goals. 
So that's the completely passive side. If you have more money, then you have time. If you have more time than you have money, then I recommend learning how to buy your own deals, right? With the syndications, because you have a lot of money, you can partner with someone who has time, right? And they spend their time and you just give them your money. But if you don't have a lot of money, then I suggest using your time to get into deals. So you want to start with things like house hacking, which is using the house you live in, like the house I live in right now, to learn how to invest. Like, uh, there's actually uh, four different ways you can house hack. So check out the video I made about that here and in the description below, because it's not just what you think about house hacking. There's actually multiple ways to house hack. And then after you graduate in house hacking, you can add other methods like buying long-term rentals or buying short-term rentals. I have a lot of videos about these. I don't, I won't go too deep into it in this video, but check out the videos up here and in the description below to learn more about house hacking, buying a bunch of rental properties, all the different loans you can use and etc. Check those out in those playlists. Now, if you're buying your own deals, then your investment time block will be mostly spent analyzing deals and making offers. And that's the thing about um, this investment time block that's really important. You have to set this time block and keep it and make sure you're doing the actions that lead to your goals. Once you learn how to analyze deals and your goal is to buy your own properties, the thing that's going to get you a property is you making offers. You just looking at the properties won't get you a, won't get you a deal. You just analyzing and never submitting an offer will never get you a deal. You have to make offers. So make as much offers as you can within reason, right? Within your 30 to 60 minute time block a day. And I promise you, if you make enough offers, you will get a property under contract and you will close on a property. Now you just want to set your expectations because sometimes it can take you 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 offers before you land your first one because your first one is always going to be the hardest and then it's going to get easier from there. So if you're, if you've already gone down this path and you're like, well, I submitted three offers. Well, let me tell you, like we submitted, I think 30 offers before we closed on our very first deal. And even today, especially since the market is very competitive, I average somewhere between 10 and 50 offers, depending on the time of the year, uh, till we actually get something under contract. So don't, you know, feel upset. I know it can be frustrating. I get frustrated too, but don't think that there's anything wrong with you. If you're submitting, if you've submitted 10 offers and you still don't have a deal, it's just part of the process. And that's why it's important to have this investment time block and just understand that this is the routine. This is the habit. This is the practice that gets us real estate investors those good deals is just having that habit of analyzing deals each and every day, looking at the new deals, analyzing them and submitting offers. And you just do that consistently and you will get a deal. I promise you. And again, don't forget, put your investment time block on your calendar. Do it right now. Pause the video, put it on your calendar. So you make sure you hold that and commit to holding that time block. That 30 to 60 minutes a day might seem like a small thing, but I promise you, if you put in the work and you do it every day, it will pay off and you will get to your goal. And remember that goal we said in the video was an extra $5,000 a month in passive income. You will get there. Just stay the course, do the boring, repetitive work, because that's what's going to get you to your goals. All right, guys, if you like this video, consider sharing it with someone you think you could use it. I would really appreciate that. And we covered a lot in this video. And a lot of the things we covered here is something we actually do for people in our Wealth Accelerator program. That's our one-on-one -on -one program where we help people create uh, $10,000 a month or so on in passive income. We help people retire in one to three years. So if that's something you're interested in, check out uh, wealthgym.com. That's where we go over that program. 
We also have a free Facebook community called Faster Financial Freedom. Consider joining that group where you can ask questions about real estate investing and anything else related to real estate. We also have a free wealthy weekly newsletter for more free resources on, on investing and wealth. And if you're on Instagram, please add me at the Ariane Lemire for more investing and real estate tips. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing week and I will see you at the next video.